Hello everybody, this is Kelly at Envy Soapworks. And as you can see here, I am doing something a little bit different today. Um, the reason that my oils are so, so dark is because I am doing a facial bar and in my formulation I use 10% hemp oil. The hemp oil that I use is um, organic and it is um, very, very dark green. So just 10% of that oil um, has affected the color of all my, you know, my whole entire batch like this. But for this facial bar, it doesn't matter because I'm going to be using um, natural colorants for um, this. A big one is going to be um, activated charcoal, so it's going to be black. Um, activated charcoal, if you haven't, um, if you don't know, if you haven't researched it, is amazing for your skin in terms of um, binding toxins to it and cleaning um, cleaning your skin of just the nasty stuff that accumulates and um, I'm going to be doing clays in this. I have bentonite clay which is also very good for um, your skin and I'm going to be doing, um, so I showed you the activated charcoal then I have here, this is um, Fuller's Earth Clay and Carrot Powder. It's very dark, kind of orangish brown, almost like a rust color. I don't know what color this will um, turn up in the soap. I have no idea. Um, but this has, um, like I said, Carrot Powder and Fuller's Earth Clay. And then here I have French Green Clay and I also... This is the only um, mica that I used in this whole soap. I did add a tiny, tiny bit of uh, teal to this French green clay because I wanted it to actually be a little bit more uh, green. So this very, very small amount that I put in there, um, it kind of made it a little bit more of a green I was hoping um, for. So now... This here is not my regular recipe, obviously. This has been um, formulated and tailored for a facial bar. You cannot just um, mix some activated charcoal in your regular batch and say it's a facial bar. You need to be knowledgeable on what oils are uh, non-comedogenic. Otherwise, you're going to um, have breakouts, and that's exactly what you're trying to avoid with um, a facial bar. This is supposed to be helpful for acne and helpful for, you know, inflammation and, you know, just detoxing the skin. So you want to make sure that the oils that you're using are low on um, the comedogenic ranking. So all of the oils here in my batch are at zero to two. The scale goes up to five. Five are the ones that you want to avoid. So what I have here is olive, avocado, baba su, hemp, kokum, shea butter, and castor. Um, all of those are zero, one, or two on the scale of basically the oils that will, um, you know, as far as clogging your pores. Um, you might notice that there's no palm in here. Palm is one of the ones that um, is high on the scale to um, to block your pores up, and so is cocoa butter. So that is why I have um, formulated this the way that I have. So I'm going to go ahead now and get my... Sorry, I know that was a lot of talking, but I just want everyone to know that you can't... Um, you do need to formulate facial bars a little bit different. You need to do some research and um, know what kind of things you're going for to make it, you know, suitable for your face. I also am going to be um, not using a fragrance oil in this. I'm going to be using an essential oil blend and that is lavender and um, five-fold orange and a little bit of litsia uh, cubeba and a little bit of tea tree. So um, those are oils that are kind of astringent and help with healing. So there's a reason why I have um, chosen my oils, my additives, and my uh, fragrance for this. You know, 
they're all designed uh, tailored mostly for my skin type which is um, kind of oily mature I have large pores prone to breakouts and blackheads so um, this is but I mean it, it would be good for all skin types okay so let's get this going here and I'm gonna put coconut milk in here I already have um, I have bentonite clay in here and I have a little bit of um, goat milk powder now I'm gonna do the coconut milk So I'm just going to um, pour this one um, kind of like a drop swirl in my, I have a kind of skinny mold that's kind of short and stocky, so they're going to be little fat chunky bars, which I think is perfect for um, a facial soap. I either wanted it to be round or just kind of like square chunky bars, so that's what um, I'm going to do. And I'm going to do just a spoon swirl with um, this very long handled um, spoon. I'm going to just swirl it like that in the mold. So this is what my batter looks like um, all mixed up and emulsified. So it's very kind of yellowish green. I don't know how my colors are going to work. I know that the black will, um, it will go black with the activated charcoal, but as far as my other colors, I really don't know. So, I am going to leave a good portion of this, just the plain base color. Um, and you know what I think I might actually do? I think I might actually just go ahead and add my essential blend straight into um, the whole batch is what I'm going to do. That is um, going to be a lot easier. I'm not concerned about um, this um, accelerating. I'm not worried if it goes thick. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to get my normal, um, you know, very fancy swirled design with this. This is a facial bar and it is more for, um, you know, performance than it is for looks. I mean, I'm still trying to get something that looks, you know, pretty, but I'm more concerned with um, what is inside this one and how it works rather than um, how it's going to look. Oh my goodness, this smells really good. Really, really good, you guys. Oh man, that orange and the lavender together and that litzia. Oh, it's just super fresh and nice. Okay, so I actually want quite a bit of black because that's the activated charcoal and that is um, where a lot of the benefit to this soap is going to come from. So I'm going to go ahead and get my charcoal in. I'm going to go ahead and put that much. If I need more, I will go ahead and add it, but I think that should be fine. can live with. That is a lot better than that ugly color that it was. So that is fine. 
So, um, this is a palm free recipe, like I was saying. And I think I might actually um, post this recipe in the description. I don't have a problem sharing my, um, my facial formulation. So I think I will do that for a first time. So if anybody's interested in um, a all natural um, activated charcoal and clay facial soap, you can check the link below and you will find my, um, my recipe there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my base, uncolored, <laughs> my uncolored colored base, ugly base. Oh man, activated charcoal can be such a mess. You gotta be really careful with it. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop in some of the black. And then I'm gonna get in our clay, green clay. Man, it's so pretty. I might not spoon swirl it. I like the way that it's swirling itself. It's so fluid because I was going to use essential oils and um, mix them in the whole batch. I anticipated um, a little bit of acceleration. I wasn't expecting it to be so fluid. So I might, um, I might not spoon swirl it after all. We'll see. I'm thinking this little drop swirl is going to be sufficient. Wow, that actually looks really neat. Well, the one drawback to hemp oil is that it is one that does not have, um, like in the soap, it doesn't have a huge um, shelf life. It can, not shelf life, but it can go bad in the soap if you're using a really high percentage. So I only use it at 10% here in mine. So that's just something to be mindful about. Look at that. That looks absolutely awesome. I'm not even going to mess with the top. That is so pretty. I love that. So I do have quite a bit of um, soap left over in all of my containers here. So um, I'm not going to go and do anything fancy um, with the top. I'm going to leave it exactly like this because I think it's beautiful. So what I'm going to do then is get my little tiny mold. I have these little tiny one pound molds. And I realize that I'm not going to be filling up the whole entire thing. I, I should probably bang this down a little bit, which I will do in a sec. That is full. So I'm going to get my little my little mold there and what I'm going to do with this one is just put as much of this or all of this that I can in and um, I know it's not going to be a full one pound but however full it gets up the mold if you just cut it in half I'll have two good sized little uh, rectangle rectangle bars actually are uh, really complementary to each other very earthy and I do think that they're really pretty together so that's nice okay 
All right, you guys. So here are my facial soaps. Oh, just in time. My daughter just got home. So you guys, I will bring you guys back tomorrow for the cutting. All right, everybody, we're back and I have the facial soap ready to cut. Um, this one, the essential blend in this smells absolutely amazing. Um, it is definitely the lavender who is the star of this show. Um, but it is just a very beautiful, um, clean mix of tea tree, lavender, fivefold, orange, um, what else did I say was in there? Oh yeah, a little bit of Litzia. And you can smell the Litzia coming through the lavender uh, just a tad, but mostly you do get the lavender. And it is your standard um, the 4042 blend. So this is um, how the top looked. This is the very first time ever that I have poured a soap and just left the top exactly as is. So. This was just the design that I got um, from the pour alone. I thought it was very beautiful and perfect for this soap, so I did go ahead and leave it. This was that little, um, the leftover soap that I had, that little um, about one pound mold that I had. So this will be perfect cut into, you know, half I will have basically two full size bars. So that is really, really cool. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that really fast. Um, actually, no, I'll do that last. So I'm going to get this one up here. Um, I don't know what to expect from the cut of this one, but no matter what it is, I'm going to be happy because this, um, formulation for this soap is going to be stinking awesome on the skin. I absolutely, um, can't wait for this to be cured. Um, the one thing that I did not mention and I was kicking myself is that my water solution, half of it was a, a salt brine. So that is really, really important, I think, for a face soap, um, an acne soap. So, um, you know, uh, that's something that I failed to mention and I really, really wish that I would have. Okay, so this is what I got from the cut of this, um, the first cut. I think that is absolutely beautiful. Um, considering I wasn't too worried about the look of it, um, I'm very, very happy with the look of it. Um, I love that brown, that brown color in there. That's the Fuller's Earth Clay and the Carrot Powder, and then also um, Turmeric. So you can see it's like a very earthy brown color, and there's speckles inside um, from the Carrot Powder and the Turmeric, and it is just like a very beautiful earthy has like a very beautiful earthy quality to it and it smells amazing so hopefully this will feel amazing on the skin and I am super pleased with the way that it looks the top is very pretty and I think the colors and the ingredients in here are just gonna be great so cool this is really pretty I do I do like it and I'm I am really happy with that design that is neat looking very very pretty that green color it's like kind of an olive green that turned out really nice that was the um, the green clay French green clay and then I did, like I said, I did add a touch of like a teal mica to the to that uh, one section because I did want it to be a little bit more green. But oh, that is so pretty. Oh man, I love. I don't know if you can see in the carrot section the the speckles, the spots. Really, really happy with this. Mm, it smells so good. So there's a good amount of charcoal in there. And some, you know, I think maybe next time I would put more charcoal because there's an awful lot of benefit in the charcoal. Some bars are kind of look like it's a little shy on the, the charcoal. But regardless, 
the formulation alone without all the additives is, you know, it's not something that's going to clog the pores and it has, you know, really beneficial um, essential oils in it. So it'll still be great for the face, but it's the activated charcoal that I really wanted to have a lot of, but like this one is fine, but like some of them that have just like little bits of it here and there, I wish that it had more in every one. This is a really pretty one. Yeah, I am pleased. I couldn't be happier with this. I wasn't expecting um, to be really pleased with um, the design. That is really, really beautiful. And I do like this a lot. And the essential oil, um, the blend it's stuck in um, so far, it smells really, really good. It's stuck, hasn't faded so far. I mean, we obviously, I just made it and we have weeks to cure, but I hope that it will stay in the soap. I love that brown. That is so cool. So pretty. Alright, looks like I'll be cutting off just a little back piece here, actually. I'm going to make that one a lot chunkier. I didn't want to have a wasted piece at the end too thick. So this is just a little sliver piece. That'll be a nice sample for somebody. And this is the last cut. Look at the back. Doesn't that look neat? Oh man, I really, really like this a lot. I really do. So now I'm going to go ahead and give this little guy a cut. Let's see if I could do it right down the middle. Is that right down the middle? Let's see. Yeah, basically. Ooh, look at that. How cool. So that's a pretty, these are pretty little bars. These ones I'll probably end up keeping for myself. That's neat. It's just, this was just the little leftovers that I had. So cool. All right, you guys. So this was, or is my activated charcoal carrot powder and clay, you know, different clays, facial, uh, facial bar. And I'm really, really excited to try this out. And remember, I do have the recipe in the description box for those who would like to give this a try. Um, or just curious to see more about what um, is inside the soap. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye!